Welcome to the podcast Sube le volumen Conversation with the people who were with me In the world TV Carlos tonight, Carlos tonight Historias de un reportero Hey everyone, this is Carlos tonight. Thanks for, so much for being here. My guest this week is doing a lot of fantastic things on the TikTok app. He's using his dance moves and his creative collaborations to spread positivity around the world. Abiut Sando is his name, and he's joining me right now from California. Hey, Sando, how's it going? How are you? How's it going? Good, good. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. You know, when I posted a, a little promo saying that you're going to be on my show and I'll be interviewing you, I got a, a lot of the same response saying, hey, I know that guy. <laughs> have you adopted to the fame yet? Um, I have. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm still feeling the same. You know, I, I treat everybody just like how I want to be treated. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's it's been great. So as a news reporter, I got a lot of people who stopped me on the street they wanted selfies, and they also um, would tell me story ideas so that I could pitch to my producers. I'm wondering, are people doing that to you? And if so, what are some of the videos they may be asking you to do next? Yeah, so um, I do get stopped a lot whenever I'm in public in L.A. Um, or just public places in general. Um, yeah. And they, they ask me, like, oh, can we do a TikTok? And I'm just like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll do a TikTok. Sometimes whenever I'm recording, I'm just like, yeah, I'll do a TikTok after I'm done with this video, <laughs> you know, because it depends on what I'm doing. But yeah, I do I do my best to to uh, do any videos with any any of my fans out here. It's funny how uh, ideas can be off the wall, but sometimes they work and they they take off. Um, oh yeah. Do you have? Uh, for those of you who may not know, you have more than three million followers on TikTok, um, and then you're known as for the Sando Twist. Can you tell everyone what that is and how it's done? Yeah, so um, the Sando Twist was in 2020 when the pandemic was like really like starting, um, and I was I, I was a FedEx driver um, in Washington State, and around that time, um, all I wanted to do is you know because I had a lot of free time um, as a FedEx driver. Sometimes we do work a lot, and then sometimes we there's days that we don't because depending on the volume, but. Um, I had my little brother with me a lot and I uh, just uh, took advantage of that. And he, he's the one that also offered to help me uh, film videos. And I wanted to do videos too. And I was already doing videos way before TikTok. I was doing videos on, on Instagram, but, you know, just here and there. Um, but yeah, so uh, I ended up looking for a song. I, I ended up connecting with this song, um, which is by uh, Viva La Swing. That's the title mm -hmm. of the song. <clears throat> and uh and uh, yeah, I ended up connecting with it. And for some reason, I just felt like doing that dance that I ended up doing, which is the sandal twist. It's just like a like a twist with your with your head and your, yeah. your upper body and then just swing your arms and then clapping. And it, and it just clicked, you know, and then a lot of people watched it for the first 30 minutes. It was like at 500,000 views. And I was like, wow. And I only had like 20,000 followers. So for me to see that, I was just like, what did I just do here? You know, like I kind of backed up. I was like, am I gonna get in trouble? Because I also got, I also got a little scared because I did it in my FedEx uniform, and that's another oh, yeah. thing that that kind of like got me. I was like, man, like I don't know what I just did. It's not, it's not negative because I'm always doing videos and I've been doing videos for, for positivity. You know, like I like dancing myself. Like there's nothing negative about that. Right. Um. So, so yeah, and then that that whole t t the whole thing took off. It started being a trend on TikTok. Um, and then I got, I'll admit it. to you that I even did the Sando twist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was easy too, for a lot of people to do it. So, yeah. uh, yeah. And, and it was just, it was just fun seeing a lot of people like the celebrity that ended up doing it. When I actually, I, I've looked at him before when I was like, when I was small, uh, Derek Huff dancing with the stars. Mm -hmm. I've seen him on, on the show, uh, when I was little and, uh, yeah, I, I watched him before and he ended up doing the Sando twist and I was like, that's my, that's my that's thing, cool. you know, like that's my dance. So yeah, awesome. I got excited. Yeah, I think that anyone who sees your content will say, "Hey, that guy is a really good dancer." Yeah. Um, I read somewhere where you've you've been dancing since you were, I think, twelve. Uh, who yeah. inspired you to get started in the first place? 
Um, well, I've actually watched um, competitions and I've watched videos like on on. Um, I, I was I was watching uh, America's Got Talent or America's, mm. yeah, America's Got really? Talent. Um, and then I've seen some breakdown scene. Um, guys that were that were doing like flips and they were doing a lot of crazy moves and i got inspired through that and then also my mom used to also well, um she uh was having like a dance studio she used to teach like cumbia bachata uh flucorico she's she was always around uh dancing uh because she's been loving dancing since she was small too mm-hmm. and then from there i just was like you know, let me try it out because I was I was 11 at the time when I was looking at all these things, you know. Yeah. And I started doing handstands and like, you know, um, yeah, when I was 11 when I was in like what uh, preschool, I think is what it was. No, no, sorry. Yeah. Not preschool. Uh, elementary school. <laughs> elementary school. Okay. It was elementary school. Yeah. <clears throat> That's cool. Yeah. And then I'm from there, do I, just, it. I just started I'm, doing it more. I'm trying to do the math in my head what year it was. <laughs> I don't even know, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go anyway. So uh, for people who don't know, you're Latino, um, born in Mexico, right? And um, used to live in Washington State. And you yeah. recently moved to Los Angeles. I remember the first time that I moved to California for work. I'm curious what it's been like for you so far. Um, it's been uh, crazy because uh, I never expected to to like take off, create like this fast, you know? Yeah. Like I I mean I've been doing myself I've been doing me since I've started doing social media. Um I've never was I I never was in it for 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 me to go viral or like never was in it um to do my to do the like to try really hard to go viral. I've always been doing everything generally. Like I've mm-hmm. been posting my videos and my content um as I think about ideas mm-hmm. and people just like them, you know, people like my ideas and um uh, and uh, yeah, I've been I've been going viral here in LA. Uh, I think I was only here for five months, and then I went viral with the uh, Bed at the Baby. Yeah, it's that one. And then I've been doing this other one, the I Leche. Uh, that's another dance that I have that I've been doing. And uh, I'm actually actually gonna do another one here pretty soon. It's just ideas that I have. You know what I mean? So right. And a lot of people uh, have been telling me that it's very unique, and um, and they see kind of like the breakdowns inside of where I come from. Mm-hmm. And I mix it to now and days with like music, you know? Mm-hmm. And a lot of people just enjoy it. So you mentioned you joined TikTok not too long ago. Um, can you describe the moment that you knew you had something special? Um, well, I've always wanted to do videos. Like I've always wanted to record videos and I've always been good at editing and stuff. And um, when I put my editing... Uh, video, like skills together with my dancing a lot of people enjoyed my videos and so i was just like man like let me keep going with this because the sandal twist is what took off and a lot of people enjoyed that and so then i was just like you know what i'm gonna keep doing content because a lot of people are enjoying it like i've been getting so much feedback mm-hmm. so many messages the news was was even interested in me mm-hmm. that's when i was like man like i think i'm doing something good <laughs> <laughs> yeah you are it's positive now, you didn't just do one sandal twist video. You did a lot of them yeah. featuring uh, police officers, oh, yeah, service yes. members. Uh, there was a guy from Starbucks. Oh, yeah. So, so some of those videos and, um, you know, I've said this a couple of times, but uh, some of those videos, I've, I've actually gone to the Starbucks myself. And, you know, I offered. I was like, hey, you know, is anybody interested in being in a video? You know what I mean? Like, I've always oh, yeah? been like that. Sometimes when I, yeah, when I, when I was starting... Um, I, that's what I was doing, and and I got one co- coworker at uh, Starbucks that he's like, yeah, like let's do it, why not? And um, you know, on that day, he ended up telling me that he was actually having a like a rough day, and so when I was doing a video with him, like he was having fun and he he had fun and everything, and he enjoyed. I I bought him a coffee even though he works there, um, and yeah, it was it was cool, you know, because I I never expected to make someone's day off like me asking and offering like. Would you like to be in a video with me? Because he messaged me that day when I uploaded the video. He's like, hey, man, like I was actually having a rough time wow. uh, today. But when you came in and you, uplo- and you uploaded the video and I know and I knew who you were, like it was crazy. Like, bro, I, I, uh, I'm going to always forever cherish this moment. That's what he told me. And That's I was awesome. just like, damn, it's crazy. Yeah. Great way to put a smile on someone's face. 
yeah yeah but i've been doing videos with uh with a lot of people with a lot of creators too i'm, I'm always open to bringing uh my creators on what i'm doing and sharing my platform with you know everybody else from the sandal twist videos do you have a favorite um collaboration the sandal twist um yes i will say the lapd that was fun the lapd um mm -hmm. at the time was not having a well not just lapd just the everywhere law enforcement around 2020 uh, wasn't really the best, you know, they weren't really like a good image on, on, on many things, but um, you know, I, I've, I've always been wanting to take that risk to like, you know, uh, basically offer my positive, my positive social media to, you know, um, to the um, people that, that don't, um, that are not, I guess, uh, how do I say this? Because they were having a rough time. Um, it was 2020, and, and there was a lot of defund the police. Like, oh, like um, and nobody really... publicity? Yeah, yeah. So it was that. And I ended up doing that uh, because I felt like my dance was like, it was good, you know? And then when yeah. I ended up doing that, um, we got a lot of positive comments. And I thought it was going to be more towards like negative, but I still uploaded the video. And... Uh, and yeah, like it hit like three million views in like I don't know less than a couple of days, and yeah, it just got shared. It got also on the news too, and um, but yeah, like I said, my platform is positive, so I'm always doing my best to like share with everybody in a good way, you know. talking with tiktok star sando he has more than three million followers so chances are you know who he is and if you use other social media platforms i'm sure you've seen his content sando what is it about tiktok that you love so much um i like that you could reach out to so many people like just by uploading a video you never know if it's gonna like go viral if it you know it's just very uh the search engine on that is crazy um yeah. and it's fun too it's it's not it's not negative and, and you could like be yourself on that app, you know? Right. Um, sometimes like other apps are not the same. They don't have the same atmosphere with that, you know, the same right. energy. Yeah. I enjoy TikTok as well. How yeah. does it feel um, knowing that you're not only a trendsetter, but you're also a celebrity? Um, you know what? I mean, I, I, like I told you earlier, I feel the same, you know, um, yeah. it's, it's just different now when I go into public places. Um, I do, get stopped for pictures and stuff. And I don't mind it. You know, every, every single time I get asked for pictures, I'm always happy for, for, you know, my fans to like ask me. And sometimes they don't ask me, but you know, it's okay. It's cause they're shy or whatever, but yeah, I mean, I'm still the same. I'm feeling the same. <laughs> uh, you mentioned earlier that um, your first couple of videos, you used uh, your uniform, your work uniform, you uh, worked at um, FedEx. FedEx. <clears throat> um, your employer, what was their reaction when they saw your video, when they saw that you, you know, went viral. Yeah. Well, the first time I was nervous when when I did the Santa twist, and mm -hmm. uh, that was that was a little tough one because I was new. I was actually, I believe, a month into the company, like as a FedEx driver, and I was nervous because I was like, man, like I know being on social media with a uniform is not the best thing, but it it wasn't negative, so I was like, kind of like, okay, I, I should be good. But uh, my boss was very uh, positive. He was very, like, um, supportive about it. He said, okay. just make sure you keep it clean. Right. And so then I was just like, okay, cool. So then so then I'm good, you know? Um, I told him, you know, I'll, I'll always mix it up. Like, maybe I'll use a uniform in, in a dancing video. And he's like, yeah, no, just, like I said, keep it clean and you're fine. You should be fine. And, um, yeah, and then when I moved here to L.A., there was a, obviously I have a different boss, Um and yeah, he was very supportive too. And I was I was shocked okay. myself uh, that that I've been getting uh, people that support me because it's not easy to have a company support you, and mm -hmm. in, in a good way, you know. Oh yeah. So that was very that was the be that was the best part, the best feeling when I was just like okay that I got the okay to do it, and that's why I ended up bringing like um, Amazon, DHL, UPS. I ended up doing the Santa twist with all of them. And these guys are all legit employees. They they are they are drivers for UPS, Amazon. Um, we got Amazon to share the video with because because one of their employees 
was an Amazon driver, you know, like yeah. everybody is legit. So um, cool. I ended up doing that because I've never seen that before. And I was just like, why don't we just do it? And so then every everybody got together. I got everybody together. And when I uploaded the video, a lot of people were saying like, oh, my gosh, this is the best crossover. This is like the the yeah. deleted version of the end games or like the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That was funny. People were having fun with it. How much fun did you guys have doing all that? It was, it was, you know, it actually went by really quick. We were together for two days, um, and that was the first time us meeting in L.A. Um, that was before I moved to L.A., to be honest, too. Um, and uh, it was fun. You know, I didn't, I don't really see it in a competition way. Yeah. I see it more in, like, you know, they're the same. It, we do the same thing. We should, like, you know, get together. And so now we're just, now we're friends, and, and, and we st- we're still friends to this day. We, st- we have a group chat. We still talk to each other. We're actually getting together um, here uh, this weekend uh, for my meet and greet out here in L.A. And uh, we're going to do some more videos. You know, we're going to get together. We're going to bring bring back the group. Um, so, yeah, we're going to reunite. Did you when you did that video, that collaboration, did you have a message that you want people to um, walk away with when they saw your video? Yes. Uh, the message was based uh, was unity. Like, you know, like no matter what you do in life, you, we're all still the same. Because a lot of people see it in a, in a competition where where they they shouldn't get along, you know. Right. So that message actually was on the caption, and I ended up putting that on the caption. Awesome. And so these guys are all coming to to meet you or to to gather in LA. Do they have to come up with story ideas when they show up? Uh, with uh, video ideas, yeah, content. Yeah. Um, you know, some of them. Actually, I was talking to them uh, uh, a couple of days ago, and, and they were saying like, "Bro, I have this idea with us. Like, we should all like <laughs> do this dance." And then, yeah, they were just having ideas of uh, different ways of of uh, different content. You know, so yeah, everybody has their ideas, um, and they know that everybody knows everybody knows that um, if you're a, a content creator. You got to have ideas, you know, you got to show up with some ideas. But yeah, everybody has their own ideas. And um, I give my ideas and and uh, we upload the videos and, and then just let the people enjoy them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about your other popular dance move. You mentioned it earlier. It's a break dance move that involves you getting down on the floor. How did you come up with it? And how did you know this like the song to use for it? OK, so the song I really liked. I was actually <laughs> listening to it when I was delivering and this came up on the on my Spotify as a recommendation, so it was okay. just like on recommendation. I wasn't even like, uh, I had I didn't even, I didn't even have the, the song downloaded yet. So <clears throat> it came up, and I was listening to it, and I was like, damn, like I really like this song. And then uh, the dance move, it's been, it's actually from breakdancing from decades. It's been done decades ago, mm-hmm. and all I did was. Basically, just mixed it. I mixed it to where, like, it says, like, bet at the bed at the baby. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that's my part. That's my thing. Like, I did bet at the bed at the baby. Like, I know it's fake, but, and then that's when I, when I ended up doing that, that's when I just thought of that breakdancing move. Cause I was delivering, like I said, and I just was like thinking about that. I was like thinking, bet at the bed at the baby. Cause bet at the means like hold up. So mm-hmm. I put my hand like that. And like, I know it's fake, bet acá. I ended up just dropping down to the floor and then I was like, damn, like, okay, let me see if I could record this. And then I hit up, you know, I ended up messaging my manager, Jose, who has been helping me out with, with everything. Cause he's the one that's been recording my videos. He gives me ideas too on what to do, what to wear sometimes. But yeah. So, uh, and then I, when I ended up filming it and everything was done, I uploaded the video and like, damn, it like, it hit like 400k within like a couple of hours, and I was like, "Okay, like we're wow. at 400k, we're gonna be at like six, seven, you know." It hit a million. It eventually hit a million, and then people were like, "Yo, you gotta redo it again. Like, let's see it again." And so then I ended up redoing it, and people were just like going crazy. Like that video, that video did really good. Actually, it was like at five million views within like a couple of days. Like we were talking about like maybe two days. It hit really wow. good, and a lot of people enjoyed it. But yeah, like the dance move and everything, it, it does come from breakdance. And then all I did is just put the two and two together, just like how I did with the Santa twist. You know, That's awesome, man. I love the videos. I love the dance moves. I'm sure a lot of people do as well. Yeah. Um, 
You're currently on tour with the Sando tour you mentioned. Um, you visited cities in Texas, New York, and Florida. What made you decide you wanted to start a tour, and how can people come see you? Um, well, I'm gonna be honest. We were running out of uh, places to film out here in LA. <laughs> As uh, after I ended up doing the Perate, uh video, the Perate dance, um, th there was a request. Like people were requesting me to do it, like Hollywood Boulevard. You know, uh, Santa Monica Beach, Venice Beach, and I ended up doing all those uh, locations. And um, I, I was just like, okay, like I was doing everything for like a month or so around here in the in the LA area, and I was just like, I like this request, but what else can we do? And, and so then that's that's when me and my manager we were like talking about taking trips, and so mm -hmm. we called it the Sando Tour mm -hmm. because people were requesting me to do it in New York to do it in Puerto Rico, to do it in Miami, to do it, you know, to do it in all these areas. And so then I was just like, you know, what, why not? Like, let's do it. And so then a lot of people, what they, they didn't really like, you know, I feel like a lot of people like they were like, okay, like, are you, I don't think he's going to do it. And so when I ended up taking all these trips, when I went to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico was like one of the first ones that was like the biggest one. I ended up uploading the video and I was over there, you know? I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to do it here. And mm -hmm. I ended up, we ended up filming the video. We uploaded the video. And, like, within, like, a couple hours again, like, people were just like, oh, my gosh, he's here in Puerto Rico. Like, oh, my gosh, that's my island. Like, people were, like, crazy about it because they didn't think it was going to be, that was going to happen. And I also ended up doing those um, trips. Well, I'm still doing the trips. But right. um, so that way I can get more uh, content and to meet my fans and to have different backgrounds and to show like you know different areas of 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 every city out there. But, what about your um your drafts? You probably have a long list of videos on. That. I I do. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but it, you know they they actually do go down just because I've like I've been uploading videos as I go, mm -hmm. so I try not to like be too backed up on the drafts. Um, I try to upload as I go as much as I can. Um. And uh, be, but yeah, I do get back the maybe like a month or so, maybe <laughs> so, okay. a lot of days. But yeah, my two favorite videos from you was when you visited uh, the vessel in New York, and then the dance when you uh, were with the Miami Police Department. Oh yeah, yeah. What was that like? It was fun. Um, it was it was very warm out there. It wasn't cold. No? <laughs> yeah. Because I I, I, I I that was my first time in Miami, and I I never experienced like the night you know, the nightlife. And uh, I thought it would be cold, but it wasn't. It was very warm. And um, it was fun, you know, doing a video with all the police officers. They were all, like, you know, like, excited for the video to be, you know, published and everything. And, and, uh, and yeah, so it was fun. I liked it. Awesome. Okay. Um, and then how can people see you on tour? Do you announce that on a website or on your... Yeah, so if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's the same um, as my name on here, um, A-B-I-U-D underscore sando um so they uh they could go on my instagram and go to the link in the bio i have a lot of information on there of my all my trips that i'm going to be taking um and i also upload on my stories uh to go ahead and give you guys an update um but yeah so it's it's mainly my instagram and i do my best as well on tiktok because on tiktok you could uh do stories now so kind of like instagram oh, yeah. so um yeah, if you guys want to, you know, get me on Instagram or TikTok or one of those platforms, um, you guys will eventually know where I'm going to be at because I upload um, the dates and the time and everything, all the cities that I'm going to be going to. Cool. I missed you by like, I think a couple of days when you're in Texas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I sent you a message like, come to Dallas. And then I was like, oh, wait, he was already here. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I was I was there. But, you know, again, I, I upload my videos as I go sometimes and, and sometimes people don't catch me at the time yeah. that I'm there. And so it's kind of like, damn, like I just left. Yeah. <laughs> but I have two videos more <laughs> like right, right. I, I'll, I'll upload them later. But people still think sometimes that I'm like in Puerto Rico. You know, if I upload a video, right. if oh, I upload yeah. a video right now and, and it's a Puerto Rico video, they're going to be like, bro, where you at? Like you're in Puerto Rico. You know what I mean? Yeah. It yeah. mixes up at people. But but no, I do my best to try to like consistently like be be as i go be uploading my videos as i go how many videos would you say you produce in one city or one location oh man you know i'll say that the my in miami 
It was the most, I think it was, I think it has been the most videos. I think, well, Miami and New York, I think it has been the most videos I've ever done in 48 hours. It was like 14 videos. Man, 14 videos is a lot for 48 yeah. hours. Yeah. Like, how, you know, it's so much. 48 hours and, and, and I did 14 videos in Miami. Um, and all of them, like, I I, really, I, put, I put everything out. Like, all those mm -hmm. videos that you were seeing that you saw in Miami, like the Miami Police Department, like, that was one of the 14 videos. But yeah, like, I put all of them out and everybody was like, damn, like, content is crazy, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I uploaded all of them. But yeah, I think Miami and uh, New York City have been the most. Oh, videos. wow. Okay. Yeah. So when I was a reporter um, and I would do live uh, remotes and then I would have people come up to me and they're like watching me, I wouldn't get too, you know, that much of uh, being nervous. Do you get nervous when you're out there shooting videos and then there are like there's a crowd there and you're like, yeah, yeah, please don't mess up. <laughs> no, I, I do actually get nervous here and there. Um, it's just because it depends on, on what I'm doing. You know, yeah. obviously, I'm always out dancing and I'm always out, you know, filming in public, but. I do get nervous whenever sometimes I go in public and, uh, you know, that's just me. And that's just how it is sometimes. Like I know on my videos, there's a lot of, uh, you know, I show confidence and I am confident about what I'm doing, but then I also get like nervous. Yeah. Okay. And I'm actually doing it. <laughs> He's a TikTok star simply known as Sando with more than 3 million followers on the platform. As I mentioned earlier, my fans were excited uh, to hear your, our conversation today. And some of them even sent in some questions for you. This one from Annabelle. Is it hard making your videos? Uh, sometimes it is. Uh, I'm not going to lie. There's uh, been times where, you know, uh, sometimes I have to uh, basically go by the weather uh, you know, because not everywhere I go is going to be sunny and sometimes it's raining and I'm just like, damn, like I can't do videos. So it is hard to because all my videos are usually outside and outdoors. And I like that. I like the that the uh, my videos are outside. It gives a it gives more like a like I'm out doing things and I'm out traveling and I'm bringing you guys along with me. But it also uh, does affect depending on the weather. So that's like the one thing that I've been actually, you know, like. Uh, coming across on uh, just the weather whenever I always have, I always have to look what, what the weather is going to be like. Um, and uh, but yeah, that's like the toughest part of making do videos. You, do you also um, follow the trends and do what other um, content creators are doing too? Um, I do. I do. Um, but I also want to do I also want to I always I've always liked doing content that I like doing, you know, like my yeah. dancing and stuff like I've always liked to always put my ideas uh into nowadays like maybe if it's if it's a song that i ended up picking out on spotify then then i i try to think about ideas myself but yeah i try to keep up i also keep up with the with the tiktok trends too okay yeah i did see one guy doing the breakdown or breakdance one you do yeah and as soon as i saw that i'm like hey i bet sendos <laughs> Yeah, right. like, hey. I've been doing it for sure. Yeah, cool. Uh, Jesus wants to know who has been your favorite TikTok collaboration so far. Okay, so let's see. That's <laughs> a tough one because I've been doing a lot of videos with uh, with a lot of creators. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Damn. Um, gotcha. I would I would go ahead and say, um, Elvis Crespo. Okay. Elvis Crespo, yeah, he's a he's a singer, and he's an artist. If you guys don't know, but yeah, Elvis Crespo has been uh, it was he's been really a, he's a good friend of ours now. Um, but yeah, he's 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 really fun. He's uh, he's funny to hang out with. He's always yeah. singing, <laughs> just like me. Yeah. I'm always dancing. Cool. I've seen. Yeah. Um, what did you know him, or you just? Uh, or so uh, his managing team uh, actually reached out to me because I ended up doing. Um, a delivering video uh this was in 2020 i ended up doing a delivering video with his song the suavemente besame mm -hmm. so i ended up doing that song um of, of me delivering a, a box and delivering like packages and stuff and that video actually got put on the news on the Spirit america 
And oh, okay. So, yeah. so his managing team saw that, and then, and then yeah. So that's when and we we kind of exchanged like information and and uh, you know uh, Elvis Crespo wanted to. Uh, well, we 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 both wanted to do videos together because uh, oh, cool. yeah, you don't you don't you know you don't see much of uh, of Elvis Crespo having uh, TikTok. You know, what I mean? like he, yeah. he had elaborated, and, and I I was one of the first ones that yeah. he's been doing videos with. Cool. I remember seeing. Um... I think his name is Curly Fuck. Oh yeah, Curly. Um, and then the Freddy Krueger guy. Yeah. The It clown. Um, yes. Trying to remember which ones. Yeah, those yeah. are all my favorites, of course. And also uh, Michael Myers. Michael Myers, yeah. Yeah, Michael Myers yeah. was funny. He's and they're all cool guys. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've loved doing content with, but I, honestly, I've, I've, my favorites are everybody. Like it's just yeah. me. Like I like I love doing content with everybody, but I would say like. The most epic one and crazy one, my favorite one is Elvis. Yeah. Because I never thought I would meet him. And, and I'll tell you this, and I haven't said this anywhere else, but when I was doing, when I did that, the Suave Mente video with his song, I went live that day and I told my, my, my fans, and this is when I only had like, probably like, like maybe like a hundred thousand followers on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I was like, you guys know, like maybe like one day I'll meet him. And this was like in 2020. And so then um, I said that, and, and actually one of my fans came in the other day, last, I think it was like two months ago. She's like, hey, I'm so proud of you. Like, I still remember that day when you said that one day you'll meet him, and that happened. Yeah. And uh, and I was just like, oh, my God, like, you're right. Because I did That's say cool. that, and I forgot myself, but, you know, my, my people, my, my gente, they, they always got me. They always remind me, and, uh, and that was crazy because I was like, damn, I did say that. Because I said... Yeah. Uh, hopefully one day I'll meet him because I love his music. Like it, it's really nice and I like mm -hmm. it. It's my one of my favorite songs. Um, and yeah, we ended up meeting up. And that was crazy. That's awesome. I think the first time I started following you was when I think you, you mentioned this earlier with your little brother, and yeah. then you had like pushed the 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 smartphone up. Oh yeah, that's the it, sound it looked like a flu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. when I first started. And then I think you did a follow-up video to explain, oh, this is my little brother who helped me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I think people were like, how did you do that? Yeah, my little brother was, uh, he's, he was <laughs> he's been supporting me since day one, to be honest. And uh, he's been, he was recording all my videos uh, when I was starting to do TikTok. And, yeah. uh, you know, I, I've always been wanting to, to have someone that supports me like that. And so, yeah, my little brother was there. Um, and he's still here. I mean, he's. He's uh he's gonna be actually coming to California. I'm gonna bring him over here uh, once he's done with school, and my yeah. plan and my goal is to to move him over here. But he's still young, that's why. So he's he's 13. Yeah. And um, I'm trying to figure that out, you know. But yeah, he's he's still doing school. He's he's staying in school and stuff. Cool. Nothing like a brother's bond. <laughs> yeah, I still get um, him stuff, you know. Yeah. Stuff in there. <laughs> and then this one, Christina's asking. Um, oh. I think you kind of answered this. Do you plan on dancing with any celebrities? And you mentioned Elvis Crespo not too long ago. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, if more celebrities um, are open for their schedule and stuff. I mean, because, you know, celebrities are, are really, like, busy and stuff. But if there is a chance and an opportunity that I do get a you know, do a video with, like, like CJ. Uh, he's the one that he's the artist. He's actually the one that says, Sped at the bed at the baby. With, oh, that would be awesome! Yeah, that's him, and yeah. I've actually talked to him. And uh, I, when I was in Miami, we was we were supposed to do a video, and that and that would be that would have been like crazy. But he was in Dubai, and so then I was like, oh damn, like it, it, you know, obviously he's not here. So right, right. Um, and then the other one is El Alfa. If I, there is an opportunity, whenever it does come, I mean, one day hopefully I get to. You know, I'm saying this now, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. But yeah, one day hopefully I get to do a video with El Alfa. He's he's the artist also with uh, the Better the Better the Baby. He he yeah. he does a lot of dembow music. Right. And that's my it favorite. Only, music. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Okay. One last question, Sando. I know you have a birthday coming up. Do you have any plans? Yes, my birthday is on May 22nd. Um, maybe go out with some friends and uh, or or, yeah, I'm. I'm not too much on like the birthday, uh, so for me it's like whatever happens, it happens. You know, I don't, I don't try to plan it, out, try to plan my birthday out too much. But yeah, maybe go out with some friends. Awesome. That's about it. 
Okay, Sando, thanks so much uh, for being here. I do appreciate it. Continued yeah. success and God bless you. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate you too. Thank you for having me. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was written and produced by yours truly, Carlos Correa. Carlos Tonight theme by Skin Gallus. Visit carlostonight.com for the very latest on the podcast, see upcoming guests, and check out past episodes. You can also sign up for my new newsletter that comes out every Friday. That's carlostonight.com. Dale que viene lo bueno.